This is a Platform Specialists Model Minute where we talk about how to enable an agile finance use case in Anaplan in just a few minutes of your time. Today's use case is around how to allocate indirect costs in a forecasting process across different business units while providing visibility into these costs and additionally allowing flexibility for the allocation method or cost driver to change as the business needs change over time. So let's get right into the fund. We are going to start by looking at the output for the shared services business unit. On this dashboard, we are looking at the expense section of the P&L as well as a detailed allocation analysis section that will generate once the indirect costs have been allocated. At the very top, we are able to select our shared services business unit, which is a subset of our basic business unit list. In our example, we have shared services IT and shared services finance. In addition, we are able to select the cost driver, which will allow us to determine the relationship between the indirect cost and each receiving business unit. The cost drivers in our example are headcount, sales, and number of projects. This driver may vary for the different shared services business units. Now, as we select different cost drivers, the allocation analysis section will update with the allocation percentage for each receiving business unit, so this information can be reviewed prior to making the final selection. You see here that we have headcount selected as our cost driver, and receiving business unit one is receiving an allocation percentage of 18.6%. If we were to switch our cost driver to sales, we see that receiving business unit one now has an allocation percentage of 13.99%. After the cost driver is selected, we can now allocate the expenses out of the shared services business unit to the receiving business unit by simply clicking the allocate button. We have included an allocation button from a process flow perspective, but as you know, everything in Anaplan is real time, so this button is not necessarily needed. After we click the allocate button, you will notice that immediately after clicking, the allocation process is run and the allocated outline has been populated. In addition, total expenses has gone to zero indicating that the allocation process has been run. Additionally, you will notice we are now able to see the amount allocated to each receiving business unit in the allocation analysis section. And if you click on each month, it will update the allocation analysis section to reflect the amount allocated out. For instance, we're currently clicked on January, we see the $1,350,000 being allocated out of the shared services business unit to all the receiving business units. And if we were to click on February, we'll notice that this now updates to the $1,505,000 being allocated to all the receiving business units. Now, let's switch roles and be an admin for one of the receiving business units. We are going to look at the output for the receiving business units. On this dashboard, we are again looking at the expense section of the P&L statement, as well as a detailed allocation analysis section that will generate once the shared services business units allocate the shared or indirect costs. At the very top, we are able to select our receiving business unit which again is a subset of the basic business unit list. In our example, in the east, we have business unit one and business unit two, and in the west, we have business unit three and business unit four. At this point, the shared services business units have not allocated the indirect costs, and we can tell this by looking at the allocation analysis section, which we notice at this point is blank. Once the shared services business units run the allocation process, you will see the allocated inline of the P&L statement populate. Now I know what you are thinking. This number is great, but how can I see some detail surrounding this information? So now if we look to the allocation analysis section, we can see a breakdown of the allocated in amount by the sending or shared services business unit. In our example, we can see that shared services IT was allocated based on sales, and we even get insight into the allocation percentage used, 
as well as the total expenses allocated from the shared services business unit. And with that, our allocation process is complete.